Hello everyone, um, welcome once again to DLM Studios channel. On this channel, I will be giving us updates on QS softwares, architectural softwares, and civil engineering softwares, mostly BIM softwares majorly. We will be looking at how to use major tools and different softwares. So, in today's video, I will be putting us through how to do some major excavation using plant tree software. Ma mostly strip and pad foundation excavation using the plant swift software template this template has been created out of the major tools on plant swift so just stick to i will be doing the measurement of trench excavation and pad excavation now you can either use this template that was created here or come down to use the volume to here so come to area here See the volume two. This is volume by area, and this is volume by linear. Huh? So we have two major types of volumes in the plant swift default software. We have the volume by linear and the volume by area. Volume by linear is usually used for church excavation, hmm? while volume by area will be used for bulk excavation. That's for column based excavation. So stick with me while I put you through how. We'll do the measurement for strip foundation using the plant swift software. Now, you see this linear volume in cubic meters. Click on it. See, we have to scale our joint first, which is no big deal. Pick what I do is the principle I make is if I pick the longest vertical and longest horizontal to scale my joint so I can have a very good scale. So, we check out this part here within this grid line one to nine. We have the distance between grid line one to nine as 21.6 meters so what we just do is come to the scale down here 21.6 and okay so what i'll just do is pick from this point here you can always press m on your keyboard keyboard shortcut m to magnify so i pick that part this is not showing here now click on this scale again make sure you turn off apply scale to off page and automatically create dimension make sure this two is off once these two are off it makes your work easier then 13.163 that's for the vertical side that'll be 13.163 meters make sure this is in meters hmm? meters okay so you can only zoom use your mouse wheel to zoom or use the aim key on the keyboard to magnify then click so that's for this page so this page is killed already now the path for trench excavation is going through this path for strip trench excavation now I've checked the next page here the those page that was a page three we are given the width as six seven five but we're not given the depth of the excavation we told this is the natural ground level hmm? so what you do is let's scale this page also so you pick scale that will be zero point six seven five okay so we'll pick from um this point here to the next point here that's six seven five then for the vertical aspect that's point two three okay so we'll pick from those points to just m the next point here so that's for the vertical and horizontal part now let's just check the depth of this excavation from the natural ground level down to this point here so we just just click on this dimension too you can click on from this point to this point that's the base of excavation here you can see this mm -hmm. now once you have this you can always modify this click and stop let's modify this to suit us now you see on this side here on the right hand side here which is here you see I have the properties of this dimension line once you click on it this is the properties panel so you can change the color of the dimension line to let's say black i prefer black because it fits with the join the text color should also remain black then the height of it you see one is this big so you just reduce it to half of the size that's 0 0.5 0 0.5 enter you see it's still a little bit big this is 0 0.2 that's 0 0.2 Okay, zero is too small. Zero point. Just click on this. Since once you click on this job, it will give you this formula editor. Just point two. 
okay so you see it's more reasonable than the way it was so we have from this base to this point here we have this as 0 0.96 probably 95 if i could make this fit properly okay 0 0.96 that's the depth of our excavation while the width is 675 Huh? We have 6.75 as our width, then 0.96 as our depth. To come back to this page, linear, linear volume and cubic. So you can just type in trench excavation. The name should be trench excavation. Or strip excavation. Okay, so we just repeat the width is 0.675 said in the joint then the depth is 0.96 said in the joint and pick the color you want to make use of we'll be using the orange color the fuel type should be solid folder should be substructure substructure once you're done with this just click on ok so just pick the parts of the walls Just what you have to just do at this point is to follow the drawing path. Okay. You see on this part, once you take it back up here, you see it will give this kind of voice. I'm, we have an overlap. So just make sure this is top here, then double click. You click twice on your left mouse button. From this point also you do the same thing pick from the base here you see we don't want this it should both be facing so you just press backspace on your keyboard so you pick the right part so once you click backspace on your keyboard double click if you make a mistake during your selection just press backspace on your keyboard then it will go back and do the normal delete you don't have to use the delete key just press backspace this drawing is a bit complex so that's why I prefer your use of this so everyone can understand this better. I'm picking the vertical walls, the vertical side of this strip foundation. See, I'm very careful not to over measure. See, I picked this ball. I, I didn't double click just click, I click stop hmm? so I see I stopped like that and I still need to pick more of this I just come back to this here click on this dot sign to continue it and we'll pick from this point here you see it's on the right wrong side so we'll pick from the top side like I said use backspace once you're done there double click same but on the wrong side so you just can double click hmm? this side doesn't really matter in most cases but i always like to make sure my works looks very neat so i have to pick the right sides at all time okay then back to vertical walls see we have a lot of vertical walls on this joint well, this shouldn't be a border. Okay. Now, say I have my complete trench excavation, all fields complete. Now, once I'm done with this, right click and click stop. So I'll stop the entire measurement it's doing. So you see the trench excavation of strip foundation. The quantity we have here is 138.1 cubic meters. So this is the volume of earth that we're going to excavate. This is the volume of street strip foundation we're going to excavate. So we're going to take this to the bill. Now let's do for column base. For column base, we're making use of area. Like I said earlier, it's a bulk excavation. So we're making use of area. Now the depth will also be the same depth as strip foundation which is 0 0.96 just come back to area volume in cubic so that we're measuring column base excavation 
the price per cubic meters let's say we are going to measure this the price is let's say 200 naira in naira because i'm in nigeria i can use markup as five percent that's for material okay so once we're done with that we just pick from the first column here because we have several types of column we, have, we need the entire excavation of all the columns so we have to just pick it this way once you're done with one by just double click you see once you double click that will make sure that you're done with the square Okay, now I've picked for the entire column. Stop. Now the depth of this. Once I've done with you see the depth here is 965, 960. Is it millimeters? No meters. That's 960. Okay. So we have our volume of our column based excavation as 61.2 cubic meters. So this is for trench excavation as one. 38.1 cubic meters and for the volume of column base excavation is 61.2 cubic meters so you see in less than how many minutes we're done with the entire excavation for all the kinds of column we have the cb1 cb2 3 and 4 so we've picked for the entire types of columns and we've done the excavation immediately so this is how you use the default takeoff tools in plan swift for excavation of trench now once you're done with this let's export this to the bill of quantities that was prepared in microsoft excel oh this is the bill of quantities that has been prepared using microsoft excel we have the weights we have the serial number description quantity unit rate and amount we we'll need the quantity for excavation of column base excavation which we've measured for in plan swift already so there are two ways to go about this you can just type in the type this in directly into this box so for column based excavation, as we have from Plant Swift, column based excavation is 61.2 cubic meters. And just type in on your keyboard here 61.2. Then for the next one, we have for stretch excavation, we have 131.8 cubic meters. So I just type this in immediately 138.1. So we have this already this is the volume or the second method you can make use of is use the plan swift templates tool so what you do is click on this plan swift inside excel you connect to the current worksheet you are working on so what we can do about it once it has connected already and just click on this then you click on either the area to pick your dimensions directly or pick on select existing items and click on select existing items it will load them the all measured joints, all measured items on the joint. So we just come down to trench excavation under substructure trench excavation for column base. This is this. Let's click OK. And it brings it in already as 61. Now for trench excavation, that's this. Select existing items. It brings it in. Trench excavation. OK. So you see, in less than one sec, that's how to me link your quantity measurements from plan swift to excel please kindly click the like button to like this video and subscribe to this channel as more tips on how to make use of plan swift and excel and every other bm tools will be posted every week on this channel so stay tuned for weekly updates as we would be focusing on mostly quantity surveying for the next one month on this channel and kindly leave suggestion in the comment sections on which software should i should work on next or which aspect of measurements that we should work on next using the plan swift software so i'll be expecting your comment in the comment section on the aspect of measurement we should work on for the next video thank you for your time once again kindly like and subscribe to this channel have a lovely day ciao